here we have our mobile uh, pellet pressure. So we're gonna show you a couple components here. It's similar to our, the line that I showed earlier, a different video, but here we're gonna see a mobile pellet plant. You can see it's built on a base. That base would be a trailer ultimately. Uh, this, this pellet line has a number of different components to it. Um, several screw conveyors, we've got a dryer, we've got a cooler, we've got the pellet mill, we've got a moss. So we're gonna walk you through the entire setup. This particular setup would be ideal for making wood pellets leaves, wood obviously, little twigs and branches and so forth that will not produce whole wood branches. You would need to put a chipper first before it goes into the hammer mill. Let's take you to the tour. We start right here with the hammer mill. So right here is where you're going to load all your leaves, your branches, your wood chips, whatever it may be. It's going to go into the hammer mill and be broken down into that sawdust form. Then it could automatically it's going to be brought up into this first cyclone. The cyclone is going to dump it into the dryer. The dryer is there to get the moisture content of whatever your material is, i.e. your wood chips or what have you, uh, being at above that 16, 20% mark. You really want to have it below 20% when it comes to wood. So here's your furnace. You're gonna fill this with some logs, wood logs, charcoal, whatever you want uh, to create the, the heat for the dryer. So your material is gonna get dumped into the dryer. You've got the fire going. It's going to be transported through all these tubes and these chambers. Uh, there's a fan that's going to show right here. You can see that fan hooked up to your drying system. It's going to transport all the material through the dryer. And as it comes to the end of that process, it's going to come out of another cyclone. That cyclone is then going to drop into a holding tank, so to speak. And from that tank, it's going to be moved into the, extrude, the screw conveyor. So here you'll have your material ready to be pellets, ready to be made into pellets. Fall in here, it's a, your containment system, so this is our center, so to speak. And from here, the screw conveyor, the first one, will bring that material up into the next screw conveyor. And that screw conveyor will then transfer the material over to the pellet mill. So the pellet mill, this particular one is a roller rotator. Uh, we have two models that we do for this particular setup, the 300 and the 400 model. Um, ideal, like I said, for making pellets out of sawdust, wood, leaves, etc. So the pellet mill is going to dump these pellets into the cooler. As, as if you don't know, the pellets come out too hot to be bagged or used and they need to be cooled down. Uh, if it's not done manually, you put them into the cooling system. This is a cooling system. You can see these little hoses on the top or, or hose connect contraptions. This is a another fan. So what the cooling system does is actually sucks out all the dust and it'll put it into a dust collector as well. And that's what this is here. Um, the dust collector will be hanging from this little mount and it'll collect the dust to be able to repurpose it all. So here's a pretty, a pretty quick walk through the whole system. Uh, if you want more information about it, please shoot us an email, USA or info at USA Pellet Mill. Be happy to hear from you and help you get started making pellets. Great system to use right here.